Доброго ранку. Розпочинаємо робочий день у прес-центрі. Good morning. We start our work in the press center of Ukraine Crisis Media Center, and uh, I invite on the stage Karen Alexana Gavrilyuk, uh, press officer of the Ministry of Defense, with information of the ministry's activities. Good morning. On Sunday, on May 29th, it's the International Day of UN Peacekeeping Forces, and Ukraine will be celebrating its 25th anniversary of participation. Starting since 1992, 42,000 of Ukrainian servicemen participated in the peacekeeping operations abroad. As of today, 448 servicemen of Ukrainian armed forces perform missions in uh, nine units uh, in nine international peacekeeping operations uh, with uh, UN or NATO forces uh, in such countries as Liberia, Kosovo, Afghanistan, uh, Cyprus, ABA, Southern Sudan, uh, Democratic Republic Congo, and Transnistria region in Moldova. The armed forces of the armed forces of Ukraine continue to improve their combat capacity. This year, among the priorities of the air forces is uh, renovation of infrastructure, um, revision of uh, sites of, uh, of uh, sites of deployment, um, transition to G structure typical for forces of uh, NATO members. Uh, improvement of combat capacity of the RAF forces, procurements and uh, modernization of equipment. As of today, the total uh, time spent in flights is more than six and a half thousand hours. Uh, the aviation uh, of the Army of the Land Forces spent in flights more than four thousand hours. Uh, now, uh, mil uh, students in military uh, have more trainings uh, in flights, uh, they have more exercises and more life trainings. International specialists are involved in training of Ukrainian students in military. In addition, the ministry continues creation of training fields to test new military equipment and uh, to conduct training for the Air Forces. Uh, state enterprises in defense field uh, now have capacity to modernize almost all equipment in, of, uh, of Ukrainian aviation. This modernization will uh, improve uh, the capacity of uh, uh, the Air Forces almost in two times. Uh, in particular, they will help to improve uh, targeting and uh, uh, the distance uh, where the targets can be found. This year, Ukrainian Air Force will receive from state enterprises nearly 60 repaired and modernized aircraft MiG-29, Su-27, uh, Su-25 uh, bombarding aircraft, Su-24, and uh, uh, training uh, aircraft L-39. Uh, L Anti-aircraft forces will participate in, tact in tactical training uh, together with the uh, servicemen of Bulgaria, which will take place in August this year on uh, Shabla training field in Bulgaria. Uh, in addition, uh, Ukrainian servicemen will, will participate in uh, the Royal Air Tattoo in Great Britain, International Air Show in uh, Poland, CIAF 2017 in uh, the Czech Republic and the Malta International Air Show in Malta. Over the last week, Ukrainian military engineers in the east of Ukraine cleared from mines almost 10 hectares of land. They disposed 326 explosive devices and cleared 32 and a half kilometers of roads. And since the start of the uh, conflict in the east of Ukraine, Military engineers diffused more than 150,000 of uh, explosive devices and cleared from unexploded ordnance more than 3,000 hectares of land in the Donetsk and Lugansk regions, 990 kilometers of roads, and more than 17 and half uh, uh, kil uh, and more than 17 and half kilometers of railways. Uh, starting since May 10. Uh, this year, 129 servicemen 
uh, received awards from the state, 283 received awards from the Ministry of Defense, more than three and a half uh, soldiers who participated in combat obtained the status of combat participant. Since the start of the conflict in the east of Ukraine, more than 13,300 servicemen and staff members of the armed forces of Ukraine received awards uh, from the state, and uh, 204,000 um, servicemen receive status of combat participants. In addition, the ministry continues to pay financial remuneration to soldiers who perform the mission in the east of Ukraine. As of today, 31,000 of Ukrainian sol uh, soldiers received more than 158 million uh, hryvna for um, destroyed the military equipment of the enemy and for participation in combat. Uh, the families of soldiers who were killed in action received more than uh, 1 billion 458 million hryvnia and uh, 1 million 70 uh, 1 billion 75 million were paid as remuneration for those who suffered injuries and uh, became disabled uh, since uh, the 30 1st of May uh, by uh, July 2nd, um, a military musical center of the land forces of Ukraine will organize uh, several activities together with volunteers uh, in the east of Ukraine uh, with the aim to um, with the aim to organize music events for uh, children in the frontline area. There will be a uh, um, concerts in uh, Luhansk, Mironovsk, Kodema, Svetlodarsk, Chesivyar, and Evdivka. The armed forces of Ukraine uh, will uh, conduct uh, these activities together with enterprises, uh, several NGOs, and religious uh, organizations. We invite the mass media to spread information about these events. You can find more information on the official website of the Ministry of Defense. This is all for today. Thank you. Uh, thank you. The next press conference of the Ministry of Defense will take place on a Tuesday at 10 a.m. Thank you.